Hey everybody, how are you? Happy Thursday. I am so excited today because I get the opportunity to share with you all the brand new collection, the city collection from Beltress. And when you guys hop on here, say hello, say hi. I'm so glad you guys have joined. Um, ladies, you may know that I have long been a fan of Beltress wigs but they have knocked it out of the park. They have knocked it out of the park. And they have nine brand new styles in their city collection. But not only that, they have 12 brand new shades for us to choose from. So, you know, I, I don't know if you caught the Lux collection that they came out with at the end of last year, and they were outstanding. All the bells and whistles, 100% hand tied caps, all the things. It has a higher price point. In my opinion, worth every penny. However, we all have a budget. So I am thrilled, thrilled for this city collection. Um, really great cap construction. They have extended lace fronts. They're all average size caps. They have left-handed monofilament parts, extended napes. Did I say that? Extended napes. Um, so I am working my way through reviewing all of them for you. Many of them I'm doing unboxing so that you guys can see what they look like straight out of the box. Um, but I did want to pop on here today and quickly go through all nine of them. Okay, so if you are interested in shopping this collection at any time during, you know, when we're chatting here, just drop um, the word city or even link, city or link will both work. And I will send you the direct link to shop all nine styles so that you can see all of the styles and their price points and cap construction and all of the colors that they come in. I'll tell you this. At the end of last year, I found out that Beltress was discontinuing some of their colors. One of them being Nutella buttercream, which I was so upset. I was so sad. But what I didn't know at the time, because I'll tell you, I was kind of like scratching my head going, what the heck is going on? Why are they discontinuing that color and some of the other colors? But now I get it. They were making room for these new collections and new colors. And wow, ladies, they are really, really good. So anyways, if you're just jumping on, if you want the link to shop Beltress's brand new city collection, just drop co the comment city or link in the comments. I'll send that over to you along with my discount code at wigsbypattiespearls.com. Hey from Turkey. Um, so anyways, okay, I had nine. I don't even know where to freaking start because they're all so good. Okay, let's just start. I'll start with the one on the top. This is Laguna Beach, okay, and I have it in Raw Sugar Blonde. I just finished filming my review on this one this morning and did I do an unboxing? I didn't do an unboxing on this one. But okay, so this is Laguna Beach, all right, in raw sugar blonde are i'm you're gonna have to bear with me i'm trying to stay familiar with all of these brand new shades but i will show you the inside of the cap each cap is identical okay so left-handed monofilament part i like the the parting space so there's a good amount of versatility to part within this parting space so if you like to part your hair on the middle i do in the middle i do for many styles there's opportunity to sort of fake it on this on this cap construction the best cap feature in my opinion on this collection is their extended lace fronts the lace is extending all the way into the felt covered ear tabs for those of you that are new to wearing wigs, this cap feature of it extending all the way into the ear tab, when you have your hair pulled back, it creates a very natural hairline along the side of your face so that you can wear you know, the hair pulled back with confidence. And then they all have wefted sides, back, and they have extended napes. 
I personally love an extended nape on a short style because it helps to make sure that the wig stays at the base of your neck. And all of these styles have Velcro adjusters versus some of their older styles had bra strap like adjusters. I mean, both are fine. I prefer the Velcro ones. And again, if you're new to wearing wigs, these adjusters are here to be able to bring this wig in or let it out based on your head circumference. The reality is about 90% of us, 90, 95% of us will fit into an average size cap. If you have never bought a wig and you are brand new, your first step is always, always, always measuring your head. And if you need help with measuring your head, just send me a DM um, and just put measure and I'll send you a guide on how to properly do that, okay? So let's talk, let's put on Laguna Beach and I'll show you what she looks like, okay? So this one, I would say, of the ones that I've tried on thus far, this one has the most density. However, um, all of this, the rest of the styles that I have tried in this new collection have low density. So for those of you that are new to wearing wigs, I think that you're really going to enjoy the low density in all of these nine, pe eight pieces. Cause this one I think is, I would describe this as average density. And in large part, it's not that it's puffy on your head. It's not like it's too much hair. It's you've got a decent amount of volume because of these waves, all right? Stay tuned for my full review because I did go over what I did to this piece. I did really nothing to any of these that I've tried so far, except for this one. I had to play a little bit more around with the parting space to get it to look good on me personally. And when this piece first comes out of the box, these waves are a little bit tighter. Like you'll see like back here, I haven't combed it out as much in the back as I have been playing around with it in the front. So this is Laguna Beach from their brand new city collection. You know what this reminds me of? If you love Raquel Welch's wavy day, but you want a longer wavy day with potentially a little bit less volume, Laguna Beach, okay? Um, now, it doesn't have a full monofilament top like wavy day does, but Regardless, it is beautiful. This color, Raw Sugar Blonde R. So it's a rooted shade, okay? Um, the color descriptions aren't out yet, but let me just, and forgive me, I have notes here. I have notes on these brand new colors because a lot of them I'm just not quite familiar yet. So Raw Sugar Blonde has a 12, a 14, an 88, and an eight root. So that's just referring to, if you're new to wigs, that's just referring to the different colors that make up this overall shade. It's a beautiful, neutral blonde. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about these styles as we go through? If you have favorites, if you have ones that you have your eye on, um, Hey, Susan, how are you? Uh, love these. How about a little bangs? Okay, so stay tuned. Beverly Hills, let's go through Beverly Hills um, Beige Linen Blonde R. So Beige Linen R Blonde is a rooted shade. Whenever you see an R indicated, that indicates that it is rooted. So here is Beverly Hills. It's a long, beautiful style, okay? in the color beige linen blonde rooted. I'm not gonna go through each of the caps because they're all the same, okay? <clears throat> all right. This style, ladies, just like all of, all of the rest of them, all I did was I broke the part. I have not styled any of these. I use, you know, when, if you're new to wearing wigs and you don't have like a, a spray bottle, you can get these on Amazon. Pick yourself up one of these. This helps, I spray the zigzag part with a little bit of water and then use a rat tail comb like this just to help to break the part. But I've done nothing to these styles other than break the part 
and break the part and comb through them. Yes. Um, so what did I say this was? Beverly Hills. They're all made, oh, I haven't mentioned this. They're all made from Bell Tress's heat defiant fibers, um, which in my experience have performed incredibly well. So you can apply heat to this. So you could add waves, you could straighten it further. This one is a winner and it's low density, ladies. Like the weight, the weight on this one is 4.9 ounces, which for this length is really good, right? It feels light on my head. The cat feels incredibly comfortable. Hey, Michael, good to see you. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. You guys, whenever I hop on these lives, I don't know what it is about my throat. And I get talking and I start feeling like I have to cough. So if my eyes start watering up, that's me trying to hold back the cough. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you guys can tell how freaking excited I am about this collection. I know I've talked a lot about low density wigs. Um, and I know many of you just are really in love with that lower density style, especially when you are new to wearing wigs. Okay, so let's let's look at the next one. So this is the third one I'm gonna show you. It's called Calabasas. The other reason I'm excited about this is I have nine of the 12 new colors. And I did ask my friends at Wigs by Patty's Pearls to send me as many as they could so that I could show you these brand new colors. And this color is called Mocha Maple Brown, okay? It is a gorgeous brunette shade. Um, let me just see if I have my notes here. Let me, hold on one second. Okay, so let me just pop on Calabasas. Many of you guys know I don't typically wear darker brown. Um, but this is a gorgeous shade. And I wanna show you, I wanna show you the hairline on this piece because sometimes, sometimes, okay, Ladies, first of all, I need to get this wig in my color because this is considered a lob, right? A long bob and it's, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. But take a look at the hairline for a darker. I have a few hairs here that I need to pull out where I can see it in my reflection and I can't get it out. Hold on guys. One sec. I think that's better. Okay, so do you see how they've brought forward the lighter colors within this color mix up to the hairline? That helps to disguise that hairline. So I really love this color. I love this style. I think it's super easy to care for because it's straight, okay? And what I mean by that is heat defiant synthetic fiber needs heat in order for it to continue looking and feeling great, all right? So when you, if you're new to wearing wigs, wherever you have friction points, right? So this hair may be rubbing on your neck, on your shoulders, on your clothes, that's where you're going to see the wear show up first, okay? With heat defiant synthetic fiber, you need to apply heat before those fibers become a hot mess, all right? So you want to spray the fibers with a heat protectant. I My heat protectant of choice is the Hair You Wear Restore. I love this stuff, guys, because it does triple duty. It's a heat protectant. It is a detangler, a daily detangler, and it's a conditioner. So you got like three products in one. So before I apply heat to this style, I'm going to spray it with my heat protectant. I use, you know, my, my air dryer or my air blower, and then I'm combing through it to get that friction knocked out of it. So the frizz and a straighter style is going to be much easier to apply heat to than a wavy style and trying to recreate that wave. Okay. So if somebody ever comes to me and says, Erin, I'm looking for my first wig, um, and she has a few options, you know, sort of a wavy style or a straight style. I try to encourage you to start with a straight style just because it's going to be easier to maintain. 
Okay, so this is Calabasas in Mocha Maple Brown. I'll show it the color to you a little bit closer. Look how beautiful that is. All right, it is awesome. All right, let me, I want to show you guys the gray one. So again, I'm going to move from a brunette that I don't typically wear myself or not often enough. But ladies, check out this freaking gray. It's called Oyster Gray. I have it in the their new style called Newport. And this Oyster Gray is fire. It is, it's fire. I think it may be one of my most favorite grays that I've seen so far, which surprised me because it's not a rooted shade. I, you know, everybody has their own preference and there's lots of choices, rooted, non-rooted shades, all the things. Because I change up my hair color a lot, I like a rooted shade because it ties a little bit back to, you know, perhaps my um, eyebrows and may look a little bit more natural, but this is not a rooted shade. And freaking love it. This is another one that I definitely want to get in a shade that I would wear sort of on the daily. So this is Newport in Oyster Gray. I did, I don't know if you guys saw, I did do a reel on this one. I posted, I believe I posted it already. Okay. This style is, I love its lower density. You know what this one reminds me of a little bit? Reminds me a little bit of Raquel Welch's Flirt Alert that I absolutely love. Um, what else? Mm, no, yeah. I would say Raquel Welch's Flirt Alert, but it is it is lower density, okay? So if you love Flirt Alert, I just need to play around with this parting space just a little bit. If you love Raquel Welch's Flirt Alert, but you want something maybe a little bit lower density, this might be one that you want to check out. Newport and Oyster Gray. Like, let me know. What do you guys think about this gray? I personally think it is stunning. I think it's absolutely stunning. So I was super excited to get this one unboxed when I got it um, to show you all because I do get comments from people saying, oh, Erin, can't you show some different colors and some brunettes and some grays? Um, and I do my best. Who wants to see a red and probably one of the best reds I have ever seen, okay? I love red and I have red undertones in my bio hair when, whenever it was the color that it naturally is, which very rarely is. Anyways, San, this is Santa Monica in Sienna Spice. Sienna Spice is the red that I absolutely freaking love okay and when you look at the number code what was it it's something plus orange this look at how small this print is it's killing me sienna spice is a 30 plus orange do not let that orange scare you because this is a beautiful color again it is not a rooted shade but i love the distribution of the distribution of this color on this shade and look at how okay look at this and first of all this style Santa Monica if you love a low density bob that is sort of you know you could wear this to work and it look very professional but you could also to me it's got a little bit of an edge because of its straight ends and the nature of it but look at the the hairline the hairline is done incredible or sorry the parting space the parting space is done incredibly well it's not heavily threaded this is totally low density and look at that hairline okay beltras i'll just be honest with you guys when i started um and why is that any different than i normally am it isn't. Um, when I started wearing wigs, I loved my Beltress wigs. I loved that they were lower density. I loved the performance of their heat defiant fibers. What I didn't love was many of their styles at that time when I started, 
didn't have extended lace into the ear tabs. So there was times where I would see that sort of awkward transition between the lace front and the ear tab. So if I went to wear my hair back away from my face, you would see it and it looked fake, right? Well, they have absolutely upped their game, certainly with their Lux collection because it's 100% hand tied, the lace runs all the way into the ear tabs, but this City collection has that same wonderful feature. So when I talk about, you know, Beltress upping their game, they have totally up, upped their game. Um, so this is, what did I say this was? <laughs> Santa Monica. I promise you guys, I'll get more familiar and remember these. But look at this bob. I think you ladies are going to love it. You know, you can tuck it behind your ear because it's low density. Now I have the parting a little bit closer to the center, um, but if you wanted to part it further off to the left, sorry, I gotta look up to my mirror. If you wanna part it further up to the left, off to the left, you could absolutely do so. Is this color not amazing? <laughs> I freaking love it. So my husband and I are going away to Barbados next week. And this one is absolutely coming with me to Barbados. I love the color. I love the cut. I love the density. Um, Santa Monica, Santa Monica. Yes. In Sienna Spice. It's a winner. It is a winner. Okay. Let's go with Los Angeles. This one. So if you haven't noticed, these are all named after famous cities in their city collection. So Los Angeles in Milk Shake Blonde R. Um, this to me reminds me of like, God, how cute is this? This reminds me of a lower density Raquel Welch unfiltered, which I absolutely love, but this is lower density and it's got a tighter nape. So it's not going to be rubbing on the back of your neck, on your clothes. So what that means is that a piece like this is going to give you longer longevity or more longevity, I should say, um, because it has less little to no friction points, right? Um, okay. How stinking cute is this? And let me tell you, I was shocked when I got this out of the box about how easy it was to get it to look just like this, which is awesome. So let me get up close so you guys can see the hairline. And this color, what did I say this was? Milkshake Blonde R. I love this color. You know, um, Pearl Blonde Rooted from Ellen Villa. Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch. Um, mm, Palm Springs Blonde with John Renault, but in HD, because I don't know if you know, but one color, the same color, on regular synthetic versus HD synthetic can read a little bit differently. Typically, the same color on HD is going to look a touch warmer. So this has a great blend, like this color, um, Milkshake Blonde R. I gotta remember these. <laughs> Milkshake Blonde R. Um, is very similar to, oh, the other one, Bell Tresses from their Lux collection, Burnt Biscuit Blonde. That's not available on the City collection, but if you love Burnt Biscuit Blonde from Bell Tresses Lux collection, which I absolutely love, then look at the Milkshake Blonde R. I think you'll really love it. So let me do a turn because this one is worth the look at the back for sure. So this is Los Angeles and I'll show you the, can you guys see that? Let me turn my color down. So you've got the shorter nape at the back. So you're not going to have any of those friction points, but then you still have, you know, the length at the front to play around with. How pretty is that? This one is amazing. In fact, my sister, my sister-in-law saw a picture of me wearing this one and she sent me a message and she's like, I'm going to need to come try that one on. <laughs> my sister-in-law also 
enjoys wearing alternative hair. Um, it's normal in this family. Um, as it should be everywhere else, right? Okay, we got three more to go. Three more to go. And two of them I have not even opened yet. Okay, so Montecito, I have opened. Montecito, yes, I have. Okay, so this is, Montecito is sort of a shoulder length, just above the shoulder, depending on your facial measurements and your neck measurements. If you guys don't know, my face from hairline to chin, it's approximately seven inches, and my neck is about three and a half. Some of you that are new to wearing wigs are like, Erin, why the heck are you telling me that? You know when you're shopping for wigs online or you're watching reviews, and then you get the wig home and it either looks longer or shorter on you than it did the person that was wearing the wig. That can have a lot to do with the reviewer's measurements, facial measurements. So for example, my face is seven inches. If my face is considerable, if your face is considerably longer than mine, this piece can look shorter on you than it does on me right? Um, this piece, I think you guys are going to love this piece. Um, this to me is a little bit more of a traditional bob versus it, it's not edgy in my opinion, not like the first one or the red one that I showed you. This one is a little bit more classic. Don't you love when hair sticks to your lip gloss? <laughs> that drives me crazy. Um, so this one is Montecito and the color is crushed almond Blonde R. Let me see if I can find the crushed almond blonde R. Okay, so this has a 14, a 17, a 101, and the root is an or the root is an 18, or that's what it says. Okay. It this is a cooler blonde than the one that we just looked at. I think it's really pretty. It's really pretty. They I I am super impressed, not only with the styles, but the color selection and the brand new colors that they have come out with. I think they're hitting it, the nail right on the head. Okay, this is Santa Bar. I got two more. You guys sticking with me? Um, oh, Katen, you know what? Let me just get to some of the messages. Katen O'Reilly, if you comment link or city in the comments, I'll send you over a link to shop all of these styles at my friends at wigsbypattiespearls.com. Um, it will also have my discount code in there, okay? Um, need a cool brown. So um, BZ03, you know who you are. <laughs> they absolutely do have a cool brown. And that's unfortunately one of the shades that I don't have. Hold on, let me just find the color. It's called coolest ash brown that's what and it's an 814 i don't have that one but it is they do have a coolest ash brown so check that out okay um thank you holly thank you um ba -ba, da -da -da -da. grays and whites so the oyster gray check that out you know what i don't think i think that's the only gray it's the only gray i got yes it's the o oyster gray is the only gray within this new city collection. But let me tell you, it's one of the best grays I've ever seen. So it's amazing. Santa Barbara in dark brown plus highlight, HL, okay? Oh, I have, this is the one I haven't even opened. Okay, so if you haven't, I'm trying to get everything done before we go away on holidays and it's bananas. You know when you're just, your to-do list is pages long? It's kind of how I feel right now. Mm. Thank you for allowing me a moment to have a drink. Okay, so if you've never seen a wig in a box, this is typically how it comes, okay? It's typically turned inside out, not always. Not all brands do exactly this, okay? Inside out, and then typically, you'll see, do you see these um, bobby pins? They're there to hold the wig in place so that it's not moving around while it's on its way to you um, to protect, what is going on here? To protect the fibers, okay? And again, not always, 
but some brands will put on this hairnet, keeps the fibers in place, okay? And then there's typically a tag attached. It's got the name on it, it's got the color on it. So this is straight out of the box, Santa Barbara in dark brown, dark brown highlights, okay? So I haven't even seen this because I haven't even taken it out of the box. Like I said, there's two, this being one of them. So we're gonna see it together, see if I like it. Okay. All right. Okay, this one has, a. oh, this is pretty. Okay, so when you get, I'm gonna stay like this and look crazy for a second, okay? When you first get your wig home, from your online retail purchase. You wanna make sure that you have familiarized yourself with their return policy, okay? So you can't break the zigzag part. You can't play around with the fibers. You can't style it. You can't wear it. You can pop it on your head to try it. But, and, and that's not an exhaustive and a full list. You wanna familiarize yourself with the list to make sure that you can try it on and what you can and can't do. Okay, so typically what I would do is I would take my water bottle and I just sprayed it really lightly. I just got mine on Amazon, guys. So, hmm, let me play around with this. I like getting my fingers in to wake up the fibers around the cap so personally on me, I need to play around with these layers. Do you see these layers right here? It's looking a little funky to me. Um, this is a cooler brown for sure. Um, and then it's got some of these cool highlights throughout. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. This feels a little bit like Jennifer Aniston. Now I know the color may throw you off with, with what I'm saying, but this is feeling a little bit like Jennifer Aniston in the early days of Friends with this layer sort of, you know, at the top here. So you guys let me know what you think. Okay, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. For me, this swoop isn't personally my style but it is a beautiful style itself. And frankly, it's really easy right out of the box, right? So let me see. I'm gonna have to play around with this one. What did I say this was called? I still have the tag attached. Santa Barbara in dark brown highlight. Okay. One more, <laughs> one more, let's see. Okay, this is Malibu, Malibu in Caramel Blonde R. I think this style is similar to the last, but a little bit longer, if I remember correctly. Again, it's still in the box. I haven't taken it out. Taking the, yes, it is similar. It's similar, and it's just a little bit longer. I'm trying to get this netting off, guys. Hold on. All right, let's take a look at that color. What did I say it was? Caramel Blonde Rooted. So it's got an R, means it's rooted. It's a rooted shade. The caramel, there's definitely caramel through this, so it is a warmer shade. It has a little bit of neutral blonde running throughout. Looks really pretty. Um, typically, when you have a style with these sort of side sweat bangs or shorter on the sides like this, it helps to prevent the wig from flopping in your face, which is absolutely a good thing. So let's try it on and see what we think. I should not have started or I should not have finished with the ones that I have never <laughs> tried on yet. Okay, I like this one better. Right away, I like the added length. I think it's sort of balancing out these layers on the top. Okay, so I would take my water bottle. I would just spray the zigzag part. <clears throat> and then I'm just using my rat tail comb. And then you see, there's the illusion of scalp and I haven't even played around with it. So the illusion of scalp is really good. Okay, this is a very wearable style. This looks a lot like um, 
This looks a lot like Raquel Welch's Pretty Please um, in length and in layers and in style. This one's pretty. I like this one. I like the length a little bit more on this one than I did on Santa Barbara, but that's that's a personal preference, right? So let's take a look at the hairline. I think it's, whoops, I think it's done well. Let's take a look. Okay, it's good. It's good. So I would love to hear from you guys, you know, what's your favorite? I, I was thinking about it and I had intended to pick some favorites to share with you um, ahead of jumping on here. But I think one of my favorites, one of my favorites is definitely this new um, Sienna Spice um, in, in the Santa Monica style. I think it's just so wearable. I love that it's a low density bob, so I am gonna put it back on. Um, and I can see if there's any questions here that you guys need answers to. I need this piece in more colors. <laughs> I need this piece in more colors. Okay, love it, love it. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Okay. Janice, do all the hairlines go past, sorry, hen, um, do all hairlines go past regular wigs? Okay, why am I not, I'm not understanding, Janice, what you're asking. Do all the hairlines go past regular wigs? Janice, I know we're friends. <laughs> Janice is both my saint client and fellow wig wearer. Um, so Janice, can you send me a DM? Because I'm not sure I 100% know what you're asking and I want to make sure um, that I answer that. Which color is similar to shaded cappuccino? Okay, so Kimby's, can you leave that with me and get back to you? I'm going to do a whole thing on color comparisons with the new colors. I just, I haven't had them long enough to play around and, you know, do a great job at that. So if you can stick around and bear with me, I will absolutely get that um, information out. You prefer the blonde one. Um, what about cap size? Okay, so Vicky, these are all average size caps. I have a 22 inch circumference head, okay? They fit me beautifully. Um, you know, back in the day, Beltress was known for having generous cap sizes, and then it sort of normalized as far as true to average. The Lux collection that came out at the end of last year, I would say were definitely generous averages. And these are true average. In my opinion, this new city collection from Beltress is really a true average. And what I mean by that, you know, if you're new to wearing wigs, I always use this analogy. You know when you go buy or try on two different brands of jeans, right? And let's say you're a size eight. And the one eight fits you perfectly. And the other eight, you can't even freaking get the thing on. <laughs> Done up. That's what I'm talking about when I say it's a true average, meaning is it a true size eight or does that brand fit particularly small like the jeans? Does that make sense? Um, oh, Janice. Okay. Does the lace go into the ear tabs on all of this city, new city collection? All of them have the lace that goes into the ear tabs. It doesn't go around the ear tabs. It goes into. So Janice, here you go. And let me grab. Oh, I don't have a Lux collection one right at, easy to grab. But so all of the lace fronts run into the ear tab versus the Lux collection. Their um, lace fronts run all the way around the ear tab. Okay. Nutella buttercream, uh, similar to Nutella buttercream. Again, it's sort of like a mix between, <clears throat> this is much redder than Nutella buttercream was. Again, color comparisons, you gotta leave that one with me. I'll come back to you guys on that. What's the name of the red one you're wearing? So this is Santa Monica. This is their, it, out of the new collection, this is their low density bob, like, this one is one of my favorites within the collection for sure. So Santa Monica in Sienna Spice. 
Um, I'm in menopause and get sweaty. Would this affect the wigs? So no, the sweat itself and sweating, I mean, people work out in wigs all the time. Um, I don't because I don't work out. Perhaps that should be a 2024 <laughs> resolution, but who's kidding who? I'm not gonna do it. Um, but yes, if you are sweaty, it's not gonna hurt the wig. It just might mean you may want to wash your wig more often. And side note, wigs you do not need to wash them the same frequency as we wash our bio hair because you don't have the same oils in your hair your wig is not producing those same oils as your own scalp and your own bio hair the more you wash your wigs the faster they start to wear right so you want to you wash your wigs as little as possible i know it sounds gross but I'm not talking about walking around with a stinky wig. I'm talking about you don't have to wash your wig everywhere, every couple of wears. I would say, you know, it depends on what you're doing when you wear your wig. You know, are you sweating a lot? Are you working out? Those types of, if you're working in the garden and you've got, you know, dust and dirt in your hair, then perhaps you may be washing your wig a little bit more frequently than somebody like myself that is not working out in my wig. Right? Does that make sense? Um, hey, Kimbies, thank you so much. How do you order um, the blonde semi-long one? So you can comment city or link in the comments here. I will send you the link to shop this full collection along, as, along with my discount code. Are these colors rooted? Some of them are rooted and some of them aren't. Okay, so for example, Sienna Spice is not a rooted shade. What you typically see is an R beside the name and that's referring to the fact that it's a rooted shade, okay? I'm new here. Um, Ilzy, I think I just covered that as far as where you can buy them. Um, I love the wigs, I've never worn one. How do you begin? Stephanie Butler, 50, uh, 583. First step is always measuring your head. If you need a guide on how to properly measure your head, just send me a DM and I will send you that information. Tish loves Los Angeles is so fun. You ordered it, that's amazing. Um, Carol, you love the length. Um, how and where can I order? Cover that price. So I don't talk about price because I'm not a retailer, okay? so. Finding a reputable retailer is really important. And if you follow me, you know, and or if you've been checking out my stories lately, I've been talking a lot about scam websites. They are everywhere. And just because you see my picture does not mean that I am affiliated with that. Okay, I'm hoping I am back. I'm hoping I'm back, sorry, I had a call coming in which interrupted the live. So I wanna to touch on scammers, all right? Um, number one, the best tip that I can give you is if you are shopping online, go to the manufacturer's website. So in this case, I'm wearing Beltress. Beltress is the manufacturer, and if you're looking at a wig through a particular retailer, that retailer should be listed as an approved retailer on the manufacturer's website. If they are not, do not buy from them. The second tip is if the price is too good to be true, it is too good to be true and don't buy it, okay? So I don't know what happened in the beginning of 2024, but the scammers are out in full force. They steal pictures and images and videos of reviewers just like myself and then they put them on their website or on their platform page and they tell you that they're selling it to you for $30. You are not getting that wig, okay, unfortunately. Uh, that's why I choose to shop through wigsbypattiespearls.com. They are a very reputable website. Um, they've been in business forever. They have tremendous customer service. So that's why when I share with you my links, I'm sending you to the retailer that I trust um, and I know will treat you well, okay? Um, okay, can you put your hair behind your ears? So it depends on the wig, absolutely. You can put, you know, the lower density, the style, the easier it is to tuck a wig, right? Uh, let me just see. 
You love, Kimby's, you love Newport and Los Angeles. The link don't show wigs. Okay, when you when you get the link, click on it, and it should, oh, it should open up the page to Wigs by Patty's Pearls with the collection of the city collection. Okay, ha Mary, how do you see the whole live? I'm going to be posting this live later today on my page. So head back to my page later today, and I will have this whole live posted on my page, okay? Um, all right, everybody. I am going, do you have the color code for caramel rooted? One second. Okay, caramel, you mean caramel blonde rooted? It Yes, it's 30, 27, 613 with a 10 root, okay? Three sun kiss boys, how are you? Good to see you. Um, all right, everybody, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for hanging out with me and, um, I got some more reviews to do. Cheers. Bye, everybody.